Hello everyone. Hope you all guys are healthy and safe at your home. Dear students, today we are going to discuss Unit Seven, Physical Education of Class Eleven. Unit Seven is Test Measurement and Evaluation. In last video, we discussed about the importance of test and measurement. Okay, and in today's video, uh, we are going to discuss about the calculation of body mass index. Which is also called BMI. Okay, in short form, we used to call it BMI. What is BMI? So let's know about it. The body mass index, as we know, has another name, which is Quetelet index, because it was invented by uh, Adolf Quetelet. Okay, this question can uh, ask in the short answer type question or very short answer type question. Uh, so the BMI. Was invented by whom? Okay, so, so the answer is Adolf Quetelet. Okay, next is BMI helps a person to know whether he is underweight, normal weight, overweight, or different stages of obesity. What we used to know with the help of BMI, a person can know about his weight. Means he is underweight, overweight, okay, normal weight, or uh, obesity stage of obesity. It is. It was divided in different stages. So let's know a little more about it. BMI is a statistical measurement and compares the weight of the individual with his height. Okay, what is it? It is a statistical measurement and it compares the weight of an individual with his height. Okay, though it does not measure the percentage of body fat. Yes. It, it, it definitely it is a statistical measurement. It compares weight with height, but in the same time it does not measure the percentage of body fat. Okay, now it is body weight compares to the height of the individual. It is easy to measure and also easy to evaluate. Now, uh, how we used to take their weight and uh, the height of individual. Uh, what we used to do, we used to take weight of uh, of the person. We will take in kg and gram, kilogram and gram, and we will take the height of a person in meter and centimeter. Uh, now, what is the formula? Let's know the formula for BMI. Okay. Now, let me tell you the formula for BMI. What is the formula for it? And I will tell you also one. Example also with the help of that example, you will be able to understand how to take out the BMI. Okay, so let's start. So the formula for BMI is weight in kg upon height in meter square. Okay, what is it? Formula is weight in kg upon height in meter in square. This question can be asked in very short answer or short answer type question. Question will be what is the formula for BMI? So the answer is weight in kg upon height in meter square. Okay, now let's take an example. With the, this example, you will be understand. So we are just taking, uh, for example, body weight is 70 kg. What is body weight is 70 kg and the height is 1.6 meter. Okay, now let's keep this data in this formula. So the what is it? Weight in kg is 70 kg and height in meter square 1.6 square. Okay. Uh, now, if you will calculate it, 70 upon 1.6 into 1.6, okay, now uh, it will be solved as 70 into 100 upon 16 into 16, uh, it will be solved into 7000 upon 256 and when, it, when we will solve it, it will come 26.34 kg meter square, means we can say if the person uh, whose weight is 70 kg and height is 1.6 kg sorry 1.6 meter uh, his BMI is 27.34 okay in the uh, exam question can be asked like this also you will get the height and weight of a person and you will be asked to take out the BMI so go through it uh, and now how we will check it Okay, how we will check if, if this BMI which we, which we got 27.34 it is underweight, normal weight, overweight or obesity. For this there is a table. Now, now let's know what is in the table. Okay, with the help of this table you will know 
different categories of BMI and the numbers of BMI, uh, which number falls uh, in which category. At last, we uh, just now we take out one BMI where the BMI of the person whose weight is 70 kg and height is 1.6 meter, uh, his BMI is 27.34. Okay, uh, now where he is. If we will go according to this table, we will check 27.34 comes after 25 means in this category means that person is overweight. Okay, we can say he is in overweight means he need to reduce the his weight. Okay, now let's know other thing. First we will check underweight which category if someone's BI, uh, BMI comes uh, under 18.5 below than 18.5 means he or she is underweight. Okay, if someone's BMI comes under uh, 18.5 to 24.9 means 19, 20, 21, 23, 24, 24.5 whatever uh, it, it, it comes under uh, 18.5 to 24.9 means it is a normal weight, he is in good condition. Okay, if someone's uh, BMI comes 25 between 25 uh, to 29.9 uh, means he or she is overweight just now we checked it and after these three there are three more categories are there first like obesity class 1 obesity class 2 and obesity class 3 for there also the numbers if someone comes uh, bmi uh, comes and uh, between 30 to 34.9 means he is in obesity class 1 he is more than overweight if someone comes uh, between 35 to 39.9 means his weight is also uh, comes obesity class second means he is too much and last is obesity class third is more than 40 if someone's bmi comes more than 40 means he is in danger condition he need to work hard he need to reduce his weight so these are the things with the help of this a bmi if someone is coming under 18.5 means he is underweight so he need to increase his height okay with the diet and all normal weight is fine overweight and other weights need to reduce their weight so this is the chart uh, okay apart from this chart there is one big chart also which is on your screen now with the help of this chart you can uh, easily find out your bmi okay and in which category you are or we can say the bmi can be calculated in a very easy manner with the help of this chart now let's know the precautions during measurement okay what we need for the bmi we need our measurement of height and measurement of weight but uh, while taking these measurements there are some precautions now what are these let's know so the first is body weight should be measured on a correct machine defective machine will be lead to wrong readings okay this machine uh, in which we are and taking our weight that machine should be very proper and correct okay the next is light clothes should be on the body while taking weight yes we cannot wear the heavy clothes and too much clothes while uh, while uh, while taking weight okay otherwise the weight will be increased okay because the weight of clothes will be added there the next is be barefooted while height is being measured yes Whenever you are going to measure your height for BMI, you should be barefooted. Don't wear any shoes and footwear at that time and your body should be straight. Okay, so these are the precautions during measurements for BMI. I hope you understood about these all about uh, BMI, formula, its example and all. Uh, so this is all for today. Uh, thank you. Be happy. Be healthy.